Welcome to Psychic Tuesday, and I'm your guide, Bernice Bisson. We're going to start off with the astrology at the top. We have got um, a number of both conjuncts and squares coming up this week that uh, could, could test us a little bit in areas and could surprise us in some pretty good areas as well. So let's start at the top. And again, sun, moon, rising. You can listen to all three signs. The sun is your divine masculine, your outer world, your career, things you're responsible for. Your moon sign is your divine feminine, your mother to your home, your body. And the ascendant is how you drive that all forward. So let's take a look. First of all, we've got Mercury retrograde, and uh, it's it's leaving the sign of Virgo and going back into Leo and making conversations much bigger uh, or things that we have to go over where we might have got ahead of ourselves or a little impulsive. We've also got Venus and Saturn, and, and Venus doesn't like to be structured by Saturn, and so she's like, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> and Saturn's like, yeah, but that's the rules. Uh, and then we've got uh, Gemini lit up, Mars, Jupiter, and even some of that Uranus energy all kind of coming together around late Taurus into Gemini. And this energy is really going to bring forth uh, communications, fast and furious, and a lot of communications without any answers. So hold on tight, folks. The next two weeks, remember to be patient with people. So let's get started. Aries, sun, moon, rising, right at the top, Aries. This is a time to really exercise your ideas, powers, and plans. Really think about what it is that you want and start visualizing it. This is going to be a time um, as you go into the fall into Libra season where you're going to have to really think about action, where you'd like to bring things forward. Um, a lot of the wounds that you've healed this last year or so has been really hard work for you. And just know that the next two weeks could be some really unexpected uh, surprises, benefits, and benefactors in terms of your career job, direction, vision around your career, and where it could also be a bit of a bumpy road is carrying a light stick with people. Being impatient or demanding answers isn't going to get you too far this week. So remember, fairness and with power comes patience um, and the exercise to response and exercise responsibility. Okay, Taurus, sun, moon rising. And so your energy for the week, you know, is going to be one of nurturing, nurturing yourself, home, your values, being valued are all going to be big pieces because, you know, um, a lot of this energy is going to be in your second house of things you value. And it's going to bring on a really earthy tone. So this next two weeks or so, this might be time for you to get on the golf course. This could be time for you to get out in the garden. This could be time for you to get out into nature, grounding, evening walks, going out for ice cream, really kind of slowing things down and, um, grounding yourself because as we get into Scorpio season, it's going to be a busy time for you guys, um, especially with work. And there could be some disruptions with job, work, and restructure. And that could come out of the blue. It could come out of uh, things that you can't control because I think that Venus and Saturn um, square is going, to, is going to restructure a few things around your work. And you could be called to a different schedule or to do different things this next week. And I would just, uh, and those of you maybe dealing with mother, mother figures, matriarchs, you could also have some energy around their care, their health, and um, and celebrations around them. Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Boy, oh boy, Gemini, you're like on the hot seat. You've got all kinds of stuff going on in your side. And you know, the this is going to be a time to really assess your resources, assess what you have. Not all is lost. Not all is dark. Things are going to come at you that are going to demand a response, going to demand a payment. And you could have been a forgotten expense. It could have been paperwork you forgot to do, but there's going to be things for you that are going to come out that you're going to have to just address and go through the methodical process as of, of it. And I feel like uh, it could be a layout of money, or maybe you're settling up some money. You could be paying off some loans. You can be refinancing, reorganizing, and redoing your, your material world. And it's really around savings, um, putting your resources away and constricting some of your resources in order uh, for a future um, a future purpose, most likely by your birthday coming. Okay, Cancerian, sun, moon rising, the energy for this next week uh, is going to be around uh, stuck between a rock and a hard place. And this is going to show up for you in a few places. Like this could be, you know, uncomfortable conversations, uh, places and people that you normally associate with. You could find out that some of the information that comes forward really has you bound to them. And you're like, oh, I, I didn't want to be stuck to this person or I didn't want to be stuck to this organization. 
and that you really can't do much except observe and maybe take in information. I don't know that all the information is going to be presented to you. So you can hear gossip, rumors, innuendo, conjecture, all that kind of stuff. And your job is really to assess and wait for more information to come forward. This is also a time for you to take care of your stomach health, your, your abdomen health, and your eye health. And, and a time for you to really, um, I almost feel like, be careful what you intake in the news and local and gossip. Not everything that you hear is going to be accurate. And I feel like you could only hear parts of it and there could be more information coming around, particularly in any work gossip or, or organizational gossip that you could be part of, uh, an organization that you serve. Um, Leo, sun, moon, rising. Boy, oh boy, you know, busy, busy, uh, Miss Lizzie. And this is going to be a time where you're going to be planning for the future. You're going to be thinking about three months from now, four months from now, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I want to travel. I want to get out of where I'm at. I want to, I want to go have some fun. But right now, in this next two weeks could be really around dealing with partners, their, their, um, the realities in their life, the realities in their own family and uh, in-laws, outlaws and social circles. And you're trying to maybe manage them, trying to keep up the pace with them. And there could be some really unexpected and pleasant surprises coming from that whole piece around uh, friendships, your social circles, uh, partners, play, um, and their social circles as well. So there could be some real pleasant, unexpected like, hey, maybe friends elope. Hey, maybe unexpectedly somebody moved to another city, uh, maybe moved towards you, things like that. So there's some really interesting things coming up. And I feel like um, now and in the next three or four months, you might have to really leave things to chance with work, not get too involved. There could be some sudden changes where you actually find you're much happier with your schedule. Virgo, sun, moon, rising. This is really a time for you to reorganize and, and take your power back, Virgo. This is really around your identity, your work, your career, your status, where you've been going and what you've been spending your time on. You might not have felt um, appreciated or like your efforts were of, of, you know, valued and you could be left out in the cold. And in that, you might be like, that's it. I'm going to either work for myself. I'm going to take charge of my career. I'm going to take charge of my options. I'm going to really put some action into taking my power back in terms of my money, finance, resources, career my reputation around my job and things I enjoy doing. And so those are going to be some big stuff for you guys. Um, the other piece is taking your power back uh, because things have been unbalanced for you. You could put in a lot of effort, not really felt benefit. Well, this is going to be a time to really get your, your boxes ticked off, get, get things um, um, in order in a methodical process so that you can start burning through them the closer you get to your birthday, which is coming pretty soon there, Virgos. Libra, sun, moon, rising. You know, Libra, boy, oh boy, this birthday coming is the first one without all those eclipses, but it's not without a bunch of a bunch of stuff to make decisions. And this could be an emotional time where you're having to make emotional decisions around logical aspects of your life, like family, women in your life, um, estates, planning, marital partners, anything and anyone you've had a long-term commitment to that's in the divine feminine energy. And this is going to be a time for you to make decisions, to consolidate, to try to get on the same page as, try to bring together, and even making uh, negotiations, harmony, conflict resolutions, and mediation um, will all be good areas for you. And just know that they could be highly emotional though. And so it might need there might be a need for you to draw on your logical side over this next, you know, 10 days, a uh, few months uh, to not get wrapped up in things, not to get wrapped up in the emotional aspects of things um, and try to stick to the processes and that there is beauty in the process. OK, Scorpio, sun, moon rising, you know, this is going to be a time of brisk work, social aspects, um, invitations. Um, uh, opportunities, but it's going to make you busy. It's not necessarily going to make you money yet. It's going to require you to start really, you're going to have to get out in social networks. You're going to be running around gathering things, coordinating things, getting things. You're going to have a little list of all your to-do lists. And it's not really about even your bigger vision. It's going to be around a lot of other people's stuff. And you could have Incidents that show up around other people's houses, home, real estate, property, assets, and that can include children or parents. 
Sagittarian, sun, moon, and rising. You know, this is going to be a time for you guys to really make some decisions about um, your job, where it's going, what it's bringing you, your opportunities, where you would like to bring things. You might even have hobbies or special, specialized skills or creative skills that, uh, that come up for you. And um, it could even be something about um, things that you thought were hobbies that then come into fruition of being able to make money, generate a business, things you like to delve deeper into. Um, looking at your own independence and your freedom, uh, particularly around your work. So there does seem to be some changes coming where you're making some decisions, and it could be really around finding balance between home, work, family, and your freedom and things that you like to do. You might be feeling like, oh, I've worked enough. I, I need some downtime. I need to spend some time with people I love. And I feel like that's going to be coming for you, Sages. It just might come in a way that is a bit unexpected. Okay, Capricorn, sun, moon, rising. You know, um, offers, opportunities, ideas, um, ignition of, of plans, contracts, things you'll have to sign, letters, documents. It could even be for the next few months that you're just getting your paperwork in order. But there are some real things to give thought to, some real paperwork and processes you'll give thought to and look at. Do you accept it? Do you not accept it? Are you taking the opportunity? Because once you're in, you're going to have to commit. And you're like, oh, you know, I'm finally just getting out of some commitments. And I feel like there's new ones coming for you. And they could come up and really requiring decisions over the next month. I would wait the closest as you can to September after that shadow of Mercury retrograde before you sign anything. Aquarian, sun, moon, rising, or anything new. Um, Aquarian, sun, moon, rising. Boy, oh boy, this is really about getting your house in order. This is really about getting your routines, your house in order, getting things uh, together for yourself that may have been out of sorts, you may have left to go, let go, you may have not really paid attention to, you know, there could be some light shone on that for you where you're going to have to act fast and reorganize your house, what you own, what's going on in your property, belongings. And then you could also be nicely surprised by friends and gifts and, and uh, the niceness of your fellow human beings. You could be pleasantly surprised about the humanity of people because it might have been getting you down the last little while. So, you know, of course, I always say don't watch the news, you know, try to keep up to current affairs, but it, it it can get overwhelming. So certainly don't watch before you go to bed. But Aquarius may have been absorbing a lot of this, this, um, this energy that's been going on around the planet and you might be feeling overwhelmed. So this would be a time for you to really be a bit more introspective, create art, logic, your own plans, being close to home and re even reorganizing or feng shui your house will do your world a good this next seven to 10 days. Okay, Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Boy, oh boy, you know, you're going to deal with aspects of people challenging you and you're challenged, being challenged on belief systems, ideas, and that could come around people, places, romantic opportunities, things you've thought in the past, how you viewed things in the past. And you could be challenged on this and feeling a bit disheartened by um, people's intentions, motives, or behaviors. And I, I'll tell you, you know, I just feel like this is a bit of a time of awakening for you, Pisces. You've got some pretty powerful planets at play here and you're right in the heart of it. And so this is going to be a time to really create boundaries, speak up, say what you need or want, take up space, uh, be really direct in what's going to meet your needs, Pisces, where your dreams are at, what's going to serve you. I wouldn't bend to others. You can find this a time of really um, being able to achieve your goals far easier than you've been able to in the past. And it's not about other people's intentions, goals or needs from you. It's going to be what's going on for you. And so there's some good energy there for you this next seven to 10 days, but mainly when these planets start to go direct as we get back into closer to your birthday, but you've got some time to go over old stances that, that has come up for you and circumstances. You can find me at BerniceBesonPsychic.com. I read full time. Uh, I'm also an artist, as you can see some of my artwork in the background behind me. Um, I... Uh, I read all kinds of things. I read palms, cards, tea leaves, crystals. I'm a psychic medium and astrologer. I love to work in several different languages of energy. And um, I think my gift in all my years of reading is clairvoyance. All my readings for 35 years are recorded by my clients. And I have a podcast where people come back with the recordings and you get to hear my original predictions. And they'll talk about all the things that transpired since uh, since the reading, and that could have been 20 years ago. Um, so there's some fascinating stories. If you enjoy that, you can find that anywhere you find podcasts. Otherwise, you can find me here every Psychic Tuesday on A1R Psychic Radio and Moonstruck Television. I love it here, and I just I love the folks here. 
And we're going to get to one of our first readers readings today, one of our first folks. And we've got Karen from, I believe, Lancaster, UK. I hope I got the right. Hi. Karen. Hi, Karen. Hello. So, hi. Welcome. Um, my name is Bernice. I am a psychic in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I'm here to be of service to you today. How can I be of service to you? Um, well, I've been single now for about four and a half years, and I'd just like to know if and when I'm going to meet somebody else. Well, let's 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 first of all, we're going to invite that beautiful energy in for you, um, opening that heart, that heart shock and that heart energy around I accept new opportunities for love, companionship, friendship, and uh, and romance. And so what is the day and month of your birthday? It's um, the 8th of November. Oh, Scorpio. Okay. This is a, oh, this is a great, yeah. this is going to be a great conversation. So let's go to your birthday coming and right to your birthday in 2025. You are ending... Yeah a very long, long karmic cycle of being alone. Um, why I say that, um, you say four and a half years. Um, I would even bring yeah. you back to some cycles from 2007. And you're really ending a karmic cycle. Right now, if I look at 2028, uh, 2024, sorry, you're in a nine life cycle. i just adding your birthday in my head. You're in a nine life cycle, which is the hermit in tarot. So this is really about being okay on your own, Scorpio, really coming to a place. If I'm fine on my own, I need someone who can who can bring some joy while I am being on my own. Because although you are really wanting to invite in new love, I feel like there's a few changes you might need to make in terms of your hermit schedule, in terms of how you're getting out there and how you're opening yourself up to new people. And I'm going to say yeah. there's going and that's okay. And that's a, that's a Scorpio trait. And, um, but between now and well, your birthday and your birthday in 2025, you're going to find far more, um, new opportunities, invitations, demands on your time, um, things that percolate from friends, uh, social circles, your community, neighborhood, anything that you, you connect up to that's not job that would be more like a league volunteering, just connecting up to, those are the areas that are going to be golden for you in terms of expanding out your love life because, and I'm going to okay. just talk about, you're coming into a new karmic cycle. You had a series of eclipses and you still have a number of planets that are in Taurus and Taurus right now um, is going through its final transformation. That's your house of partnership. And Uranus is there and okay. it's going to be leaving. Uranus disrupted your, your house of partnership the last seven years, but very intently the last four and a half for sure. <laughs> but um, it's leaving um, 25, 26 and never, never to be back in your lifetime in your house of partnership. And it was meant to um, disrupt, change direction and bring in new opportunities. And um, ironically, through the women you know, through the women you gather with, um, I feel like there's you and two other women. Uh, one could be fire, one could be air sign. I feel like the little trio of you um, going out, getting together, there is a connection to someone, a male, a divine masculine, who would be a air sign, like a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarian. For some reason, I got these Libra vibes for some reason of someone that could be coming into your world. It would be a direct introduction. I feel like you're, um, you're still, um, there's still something about, there's an, if I think of a divine masculine hanging around now, someone who shows up very much in their emotional energy, they're very, they can be, um, they can show up as a water sign. They could be very fast talking. They could be very conflicting. And everything they talk about can be, you could feel, you know, conflicted with. And I feel like you, you might already know this person that I'm going to say. It's no one you know. Anyone you're going to be introduced to, Scorpio, is no one you know. No one that you kind of went, ooh, that cute boy over there. Or I'm interested in that person. I feel like you might get to a point where you might feel, oh, I'm completely set free. I have no. I have no, 
no one chasing me. I have no one I'm even rejecting. I have no exes that are going to be bothering me. So this is kind of a unique space because that's going to fill up pretty quick. And I'm going to say yeah. there's something about um, you, three, you plus two women plus two men, a group of five of you, like you would be, and I'm going to say October is very key and May, the month of May is very key, that you would be introduced to this gentleman. I feel like they show up um, very much on, on an air sign, almost like a Libra Scorpio. Um, I feel like air water, not a Pisces. And I don't know that I'm really vibing with um, Cancerian. So I feel like it could also be um, within six weeks of your own birthday earlier, possibly Libra going to Scorpio. And that you would okay. meet, I feel like in a gathering that could be a dinner party, um, a, a party setting. And I feel like if I think of you and two of your friends, one of them has a companion already. And I feel like he's like, oh, this is a bloke I know. This is a, this is a bloke I know. And, um, and you're being introduced to them. Uh, and I feel like I'm going to say mm, between May and October of 2025, and it seems to be at a small gathering, a small party, and there seems to be five people, three women, you're one of them. And I, I'm going to say that um, they drive, there's something about people who drive for a living, people who they could drive for the living, they could work a lot, and that's why they're single. I don't think they're single because they're blowing relationships left and right. I feel like it's because they work a lot and they work with a gentleman or they're, 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 they're um, friendly with a gentleman, you know, through a girlfriend of yours, like their partner's friend. And I, I feel like this is going to be a very natural meeting. I, this is someone who's going to take you out a few times. You're going to go out a few times. I feel like um, this has potential to go to a few places. Now, one thing that I feel hesitant about um, is maybe you're like sick of people. <laughs> maybe you're like um, <laughs> sick of yeah, yeah. I I don't blame you, my friend. I don't blame you. I feel like you're kind of like oh, I'm just sick. I'm sick of like the same old. And and anytime I and I meet, I'm hearing you know I I, I don't want to wind up in the same position. And I there's something quite charming and funny about this gentleman and there's something quite different about him i actually feel like if i thought of a gentleman i feel like he's he's not tall he, he's like you know he's an average height he's not but he's very funny and he i, I want to say he won't take no for an answer but not in a bad way he'll he'll be very he'll call you out on your <laughs> old programming you know and yeah. Um, and he'll call you out on your old programming Scorpio and he'll be like, oh, but you know, you want to go out for a day. You know, you want to go have, come to me, come with me for lunch at the pub or come with me. Um, and I feel like it's quite fun. Um, I just, I just keep getting the vibe though, that I feel like you'll take it slow. I don't think this is going to rush down the road where you're going to wind up, you know, married to this person uh, in a year. I feel like this is something that you could actually have quite a fun not just a, 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 a kind of a companionship, an intimate companionship, but I actually think that it's a fun friend group. And I, I almost feel like that's kind of the even better picture of this is that they could be part of your little friend group or become part of your friend group, which feels like um, a nicer part to you because I think you trust them more for some reason. Um, yeah. If you can come sit with the girls and have a beer, <laughs> you would trust them more. You'd be like, okay, okay, I, he's passed. He's passed the test. And so I feel like that's a big piece. Now, you know, the other thing that started coming up as I'm thinking about you, my little Scorpio, is a couple of things, not just around your love life, but also around your physical health. There's something yeah. about maybe um, you could have some dental work that could be coming up, um, something just to watch around your teeth, your throat. Um, coughing in your lungs, and just so stay away from sick people. Obviously, I <laughs> watch it. It's just something that I've, um, I've recently, I've recently had a really bad cough, and I've had it for about four months. Yeah, and I, I'm going to say, um, I almost feel like there's something going on with chronic um, allergies, chronic. And I feel like it could be something very much triggered around where you're living, like in your place, and you could be kind of surprised by it. And that it's yeah. 
um, could be causing that. And that I don't know that just antibiotics might help. I feel like you might have to nail down something or even get an air purifier or something in your place. The other yeah. piece I keep, I keep getting um, it's just around dehydration. You might even need a humidifier or it could be feeling, which is odd for England or odd for UK, sorry. Uh, yeah. You could just <laughs> be feeling dry in the lungs. And so I just feel like there's stuff around that. I do think the doctor might prescribe you some sort of medication that could be quite helpful on kicking that cough. Yeah. And then I'd also just want to be careful with a tooth. And I almost feel like maybe in a molar and that it could be cracked and might need to be fixed. And so there's something my, like some minor, of course, um, but uh, nonetheless might come up for you even by April. Um, and the okay. last piece, I feel like I've got two minutes with you. So I'm going to just kind of um, cram in a couple other pieces that kept coming up as I was thinking about your beautiful birthday. There's something okay. very much about your money and being able to splurge on yourself just a little bit, like new haircut, new, new lipstick, new um, yeah. shoes, like you're refining your look, you're, you're, you're th really thinking about how you want to present yourself. And I feel like there's, there's, you're re kind of redoing yourself a little bit, or you're going through a little bit of, and I feel like you're going to spend a little bit of money on yourself, which feels really good. Like it actually feels like this is like the beginning of inviting in love, like the beginning of inviting in new companionship. It's like, oh, I got new shoes. I got new hair. I feel like I got confidence. I'm going to go out with my girlfriends to, you know, to a few places. Um, I feel like this is going to be a real winner for you. There's also one last piece, and I'm going to say there's something about you're going to really have to maybe work on your arm strength as well, your right arm, um, yeah. your shoulder. And um, I see you're going to be having to walk a lot as well. So there's something about maybe a regimen of you just saying, you know what, I just, I'm going to feel good about myself. I'm going to feel good about going out. I'm going to say this really opens some doors for you, and particularly coming this Canadian spring, May, <laughs> May. Um, you're going to start to feel really good about yourself. And this person's going to come in through an introduction, through a natural sort of dinner party, or that you're all going out together. So I'm going to say, go for it. Wear your best blue dress or your best blue outfit. I think blue is going to be an attractive color for you. And that um, I just feel like it's going to come together. Um, there's also a really strong name like Diane that keeps coming up. I don't know why, but it could show up as important. Um, okay. Thank you. And thank you. And uh, I look forward to meeting this person and message back here and let me know. And thank you for tuning in to Psychic Tuesday. And you can find me every Tuesday here on A1R Psychic Radio at 2.30 Central Standard Time. We'll see you again in seven days.